Hi, this is Brother Tag. Today we're doing an unboxing on Fongo home phone adapter. I bought this for $94.75 including shipping and tax on Fongo. And the analog adapter is Grandstream Handy Tone 701 uh, analog telephone adapter. This adapter is required if you're going to use a voice over IP telephone service. Currently switching from a traditional phone line to a voice over IP and I need this analog adapter for that. And let's get the unboxing started. This is the Ethernet cable that is supplied. This is the power adapter. And that's the Ethernet cable and the power adapter. I switched from a traditional home phone line to Fongo home service because to save tons of money. Fongo home phone service is essentially free but then they charge you $4.95 uh, per month for essential network fees and thing. And you got a lot more features and long distance across Canada for free. This is the analog telephone adapter itself and feels really light and small. The Randstream uh, ATA adapter. On the back, you can see all the basic board, and I'll talk more about it later. Let's see what else is in the box right now. This is a quick setup and uh, user guide. It tells you how to install the adapter and how to connect all the wires, and also gives you general information about um, voice over IP service and how to set it up. And how to connect and I'll show you in this material later how to connect it and this is a 911 sticker to place on your home phone to indicate to indicate that is a voice over IP 911 service and not a traditional one this is all that came in the box and now let's look at the AT adapter itself really light and small and compact in the front we have the power internet link and home phone uh, lights and uh, I'll show you how to set it up this is all that came in the box Setting up this AT adapter is very easy and straightforward. All you have to do is plug in the Ethernet wire to the internet port and then plug in an analog telephone wire to the telephone port and, and then plug in the power adapter to the power port and then plug in the modem power LED light up and plug in the other end of the Ethernet wire to your router or your internet modem and then you'll see the link LED light up and it takes a while for the internet LED light up and then once you have the phone LED solid green then you have a working and then you have a working phone service if you have any questions please comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this is a brother tag please comment rate and thumbs up thank you